State your name. Aaron Hooper. And where do you live? Memphis, Tennessee. Did you know Ann Hooper in her lifetime? She was my wife. And how long were you married for? Four years. Mr. Hooper, isn't it true that your wife confessed her infidelity to you that night? Yes, she did. And didn't that upset you? Yeah, it didn't did. Didn't that enrage you? Yes. You've never felt that betrayed or hurt in your life, have you? No, I haven't. Well, that's understandable. You would put your trust in her, made the commitment to spend the rest of your life with her, and she broke that trust. That kind of pain is worth hurting her, isn't it, Mr. Hooper? Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative. Sustained. I'll rephrase the question, Your Honor. Mr. Hooper, wasn't the pain you felt enough to cause you to hurt your wife? No, I would never hurt her. Is that so? Do you recall the incident on June 28th of 2012 in which you were arrested for domestic violence? It's not the same. It's a yes or no question, Mr. Hooper. Do you or do you not recall the incident that led to your arrest for domestic violence? I have the police report right here. I'd be happy to refresh your memory. I, yes, I do remember. Yes, you do just fine, Mr. Hooper. Now, you admitted the betrayal you felt the night your wife confessed her infidelity to you caused you the worst pain and anguish you've ever felt in your life, correct? Yes. So we're supposed to believe something caused you less pain and anger that resulted in domestic violence against your wife, but the greatest pain you've ever felt in your life wasn't enough for you to hurt your wife again? Yes. I see. So, Mr. Hooper, you maintain that after your wife confessed her affair to you, you just left to blow some steam off by driving around? Yes. And you can't produce a witness here today to confirm your whereabouts at any time that you were supposedly gone from the house blowing off some steam? No, I can't. I see. And then when you returned home, you found your wife murdered on the bathroom floor. Yes. How long were you gone? Around an hour and a half. So in that time you were gone, someone else entered your home, found your knife riddled with your fingerprints without leaving a trace of their own, murdered your wife, and left without being detected? Yes! Well, that would be incredibly convenient for your story, wouldn't it, Mr. Hooper? No, it's not a story, it's the truth! Of course it is. And earlier when you claimed you'd never hurt your wife, right before admitting to an arrest for domestic violence against her, that was the truth too, wasn't it? I... Wasn't it, Mr. Hooper? I don't know! So now you don't know what is and isn't the truth? Objection, Art. He's badgering the witness. I'll withdraw the question, Your Honor. Just one last question, Mr. Hooper. The police found you in the bathroom where your wife's body was, correct? Yes. And how long after you stabbed your wife to death did you wait to call the police? Objection, Your Honor. Withdrawn. No further questions, Your Honor. We, the jury, find Aaron Hooper guilty as charged. Courts adjourn until sentencing. No! 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 I didn't do it! <laughs>